New this morning, we have the official alibi of Idaho College quadruple murder suspect Brian Koberger. His defense team saying, quote, Mr. Koberger was out driving in the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022, as he often did to hike and run and or see the moon and stars. Here to break down the new evidence with five co-hosts, Judge Janine Pirro. So, Judge, I've said from the very beginning, I covered this case for two months. Uh, he's a student of criminal justice. PhD he, student. PhD student. He used to work in the lab. So he was going to try some sneaky stuff. Well, not only try sneaky stuff, he knows the defense, the okay? And, you know, we knew that his alibi was going to be that he wasn't there, obviously. But now what they have specifically said in these recently filed papers is we have an expert who's going to be able to prove that he was not near the house where the four victims were killed. Uh, and it's kind of interesting because what it tells me now is, in addition to his going out to see the moon and the stars when he would drive alone at night, um, and that now there's saying, you know, he really wasn't close to the house. This tees up the battle of the experts. Mm -hmm. This, what, what will happen now is the, the, the state prosecutors are going to come in and they're going to say his cell phone pinged, by the way, 12 times in the area of that home of the victims. Mm -hmm. But on that night, the prosecution is saying he turned his phone off. But we have him coming from the direction of the victim's home. So the defense expert is now going to say, look, uh, he was not near the house, and the cell towers are going to prove that. No, <laughs> what the cell towers and the expert will say is that there is leeway of X number of maybe miles or yards, and therefore they're going to take advantage of that area. Yeah. What you can't deny is that there is videotape of a white Hyundai in the area. And what you can't deny, bottom line, is his DNA is on the sheath to the knife that was used to kill the victims. But this is your right. Uh, uh, Lawrence, this is not going to be easy. It's nope. not going to be a, you know, in and out. Slam dunk. Well, yeah. they just have to cast out, and all it takes is one juror. That's right, yeah. one juror. You have a Fox Nation special, <laughs> and I love the name of it. Okay. What did he do? What did he do? Okay, <laughs> P. Diddy for years has had a reputation of someone who's been at war, you know, with other musicians, and he has gotten away with a lot. He's actually been tried for crimes. You know, he starts his career with a celebrity basketball game where nine people are shot, dozens are injured. He gets away and acquitted on gun charges, but there are all these deaths behind him. And now what you've got are the feds who now have executed search warrants at both of his mansions, civil lawsuits suits for sexual assaults, drug dealing, and all kinds of things. Look, the bottom line is all the rumors about him are coming home to roost. People have gone to jail for him, and people have disappeared for him, and I think that uh, the chickens are coming home to roost. You've got to see this special. Here, here's a teaser of it. Let's oh, watch it. I didn't know. People are, by and large, scared of him, so they don't come forward and rat him out. He's capable of being violent, not just women, women, men, people. Violent meaning, if it's not done my way, we're not doing anything. All right. He was a powerful guy. People were afraid of him. He had money to burn, and he bought people. And uh, I think that uh, he's going to face the music now. No charges yet. A lot of civil lawsuits, but we'll see. Okay, Exclusive you can watch it. Nation. Exactly. Fox, Fox Nation. Nation. It drops today. Thank so you, be there. Are you going to stay here until 5? I'm going to stay here to do the 5 and study for it. Okay. <laughs> we'll be watching. We love your show. Thanks, Thank want to take you. Okay, thanks, Lauren. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.